If you watched my most anticipated movie list of 2020, you would know that Guy Ritchie's The Gentleman was at the top of my list of something I was super excited to see. And it came out and it was pretty good. Like Guy Ritchie has a certain style that you can expect from all his movies and that is pretty much what we got here is just a carbon copy of his. We have a story going on another story and we're going back and we're going forward and we're all over the place. But this one was, this one was just so much more self-referential and fourth wall breaky kind of just like tongue in cheek, which I think he Guy Ritchie obviously knows how to do the tongue-in-cheek stuff really good and I was really impressed with that like it really came across good I think where this movie kind of fell apart with me was how convoluted the story eventually became There's just too many angles that are going in that don't really benefit the story and It's just kind of more like oh we were here now we're there and here's the surprise It's supposed to be here, but it's there that I mean I get that That's storytelling Not everyone could do it and it's hard and for the most part, this movie really works. And I think a lot of that has to do with the acting. Look, I, I'm a fan of McConaughey. I don't think he phoned it in, but I wouldn't say this is his best performance. But I will say, Henry Golding, look out for this kid. He's going to do so much more because he's so talented and so interesting to watch on screen. Charlie Hunnam, why isn't this guy getting more work? He's such a talent and so great to see. Same with Colin Farrell. Like they're just, they're just incredible character actors that you can just put in anything and it feels good and it works. But Hugh Grant, holy shit! How did how did this how did he do this movie? Like this is such an interesting, different character that he's never really played before, and he's so cheeky and funny and just like sassy and sexy. It's just so weird, and I just loved every second of his performance. And of course, it's a Guy Ritchie film, so the cinematography and the directing feel like a character in on themselves and it works because it is believable I really just laughed my ass off watching this and every time something happened I was surprised and intrigued I don't know how much more I can say about this movie without getting into spoilers and it's this isn't a movie that I'm like let's talk about the spoilers because you know this is one first off it's not like an action franchise piece this is one where you're like it's a director who is an auteur, who is a filmmaker, and people want to go into his, his movies and just be surprised. And I can tell you from the beginning, the story's going to get a little messy and kind of convoluted and folded on itself a little bit. But it's going to work and you're going to enjoy yourself overall. You're going to love seeing these characters and these actors turn in great performances. And Hugh Grant, like, I'm just amazed with Hugh Grant. This is such an interesting role I didn't expect from him. So that was really cool to see. I had a great time watching it and I would definitely go watch it again. The Gentleman is a good movie. It's a fun time and you forget about the bad parts because the good parts are just so good. Thank you so much for watching my video and you'll catch me in the next one. Be sure to like, subscribe, check out my Patreon for exclusive content and I'll see you later guys. Catch you in the next one. A good day.